their focus shifted clearly towards towards optimizing costs for now, but really doubling down on the software side, the autonomous driving tech, that seems to be the long game. Okay, so if the price cut was only 11, 14%, and it wasn't enough to cover that lost incentive, how did they manage that 11, 14% reduction? Where did the savings come from? What do they actually cut? Uh, this is where you see the, let's call it feature optimization, or maybe austerity. They really targeted the interior comfort and luxury feature. Okay, let's get specific. What's gone? What's downgraded inside these new standard models? Well, first up, the seats. Instead of the usual softer, maybe synthetic leather materials, you're getting textile upholstery. Fabric seats. Fabric seats, okay. What else? And this one's a bit of a shocker, maybe. Manual seat adjustments. Wait, manual seats? as in levers and stuff, not the power seats. Yep. No more powered motorized adjustments like even the previous base models had. Big cost save there, presumably. Wow. Okay, manual seats in a nearly $37,000 car. 